Hello and welcome to today's class. Today we have this challenge before us. It's an exponential challenge. The question is if 5 to the power of t minus 1 is equal to 11, then 5 to the power of t plus 1 will be equal to what? Yet, we're going to use two methods in solving this. The first one is the elementary method, which is a bit familiar, if I may say. And the second one, is unfamiliar and the second one is the best you can ever use in terms of your examination because it saves you a lot of time okay it is short and precise and so let's take the first method okay so first method first method okay so in our first method the first we're going to do here we want to um align both sides of the equation so the first equation here, so the element both side of the equation, in order we want to solve for the value of t separately, then substitute it into the expression here and get our value from there. So if we ln both sides of the equation, this is going to give us the ln of our 5 to the power of t minus 1 equal to the ln of our 11. Okay, now from this, what we do here is easy. To apply the law of Logarithm it says that if you have the ln, if you have your ln of a to the power of b, said move this a back to give us our b times the ln of r a. So if we apply this rule here, we want to move this expression back here. So moving that back, this is going to give us our t minus one bracket and times the ln of our five. So okay, equal to our ln of 11. So from here we divide both sides by the ln of 5. We equally divide this by the ln of 5. Right? Okay. So what do you observe? This, this will leave. So I'm now left with our t minus 1 is equal to the ln of 11 all over ln of r5. Okay. So we move this one to this side because we are looking for rt. So this is going to give us a t is equal to the ln of 11 all over the ln of r5 plus r1. We can get the value, the numerical value of ln of 11 and ln of 5. But we cannot simplify ln of 11 and that of 5 beyond this. So we can get the value numerically from our calculator. So this is going to give us our t is equal to the ln of 11. We give it 2.5. Three nine seven one all over sorry uh, three nine seven nine please okay they all over the ln of five will give us one point six zero nine four okay, plus our one now if you evaluate you use this to divide this this is going to give you your one point four eight seven four plus r one. Then we add up everything here, this is going to give us a 2.4874. So approximately, we can now run this to two decimal places. So if we take it to two decimal places, so our t here, our t is going to give us our 2.49 approximately. Right? Good. So we want to put this value into the second expression which is what we are asked to uh, look for here which is this very special 5 to the power of t plus 1 okay so if we do that it's going to give us our 5 to the power of t plus 1 and that be equal to 5 to the power of 2.49 plus 1 which is equal to 5 to the power of our 3.49 now if you impute this in your calculator, this will give you 275.046. So approximately, our 5 to the power of t plus 1 will now be equal to 275. All right. So this is the first approach. Now let's go into the second approach and see what this gives us in the second approach. I believe you will like it. In this second approach, we're going to do some manipulation here now. All we just need to do is to rewrite this second expression to fit into the first expression. Okay? So how do I mean? So our 5, we're taking our 5, right? 5 to the power of t plus 1 
could be written or could be expressed as our five to the power of t minus one, which is the first expression that gave us 11, okay, then in bracket, then plus our two. Yeah, because if we use this to open up this, this will give us this. Because minus one plus two will give us plus one, which is t plus one we have from here. Now, we're going to rewrite the whole of this expression. Remember, the expression in indices or the law in indices, which says that if you have your e to the power of your m plus n, this is the same thing as your e to the power of m times your e to the power of n. Do you remember this law? Good. So we're going to apply this law in this place here. So we want to rewrite this expression. So this expression will be written as our 5 to the power of rt minus 1 there times 5 to the power of 2. So what is our 5 to the power of t minus 1? Look at it here. It's given to be 11. So this is going to give us our 11 there times, what is 5 to the power of 2? That is 25. Okay. So if we multiply 11 times 5, what would that give us? Let's go systematically. We have here 25 uh, times our 11. So 1 times 5 will give us 5. 1 times 2 will give us 2. 1 times 5 will give us 5. 1 times 2 will give us 2. So if we add up this, it's going to give us our 5, 7, 2. So this will give us 2, 7, 5. So therefore, we bring our expression down here now. Therefore, our 5 to the power of t plus 1 is equal to 2, 7, 5, which corresponds with the answer we got in the first method. Look at it here. Okay, We got 2, 7, 5 from the first method, which is this very method we applied here. But in our second method, we have just few steps and we got our answer. Very easy and straightforward. All right, so this brings us to the end of today's math class. If you learned something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up. And do not forget to drop your comment in the comment section. Thank you for being there.